calling from a booth in the Hotel Delmonico. Where will it be tonight, Delmonico's or the Plaza? Look, we're going to Delmonico's for supper, won't you join us? This is it, the oldest restaurant in America. The first restaurant in America? Or in I'm going to say it again. Printed menus, tablecloths, even use of the French word restaurant all date back to Delmonico's, a fixture of Wall Street Eats since the 1830s. Delmonico's in New York City is credited with creating this brunch dish. Aaron. What is Eggs Benedict? Good. Every president since Lincoln has been there. Movie stars, socialites, you name it, they've eaten here. Welcome to, to Delmonico's. This Welcome is to Delmonico's. fantastic, I have to say. Joining us now, Billy Oliva, the executive chef at Delmonico's, has some great recipes, and that is a thick steak, Yes, Billy. it is about 22 ounces, Delmonico ribeye. We're delighted to welcome Delmonico's executive chef, Billy Oliva, to the dish. Billy, good Thank morning. Thank you, guys. Thank good you. Great morning. to be here. So what have you cooked up for us here? Wow, well, we have kind of our ultimate dish there. We took two of the Delmonico's specialties, the Delmonico steak and the lobster Newburg, and put them together in a Delmonico's surf and turf. <laughs> all the, all the, 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 the richness of the lobster, the Delmonico steak, all, oh. all kind of combined together. It looks amazing. Boy, For someone that doesn't know what braising means, <laughs> what, is, what is braising? Kinda, it, it, it's cooked in a, in a liquid with onions. It means carrots. ask Jesse's okay. wife to help. It means <laughs> hire you for, for the Easter dinner. It, it's not as hard as it sounds. <laughs> so we're doing a little, bit of, a little bit of everything here, a little just twisting the, the holiday traditions. Your, your typical potato here, we turned it into a, a potato cake and we Yum. stuffed it with mushrooms and onions. Why don't you go ahead, we'll mix this salad real quick. So okay. we have we some barbecue do? chicken, you have, why don't you mix all that in there, right? in there? yeah. The barbecue chicken, the, right? Some arugula, ah. you have the chicken How much left of this over. arugula do I Oh, have? you could put all of it all in. All of it, okay, yeah. all right. Okay. Billy Oliva, the executive chef of the Delmonico's restaurant group. We have our lobster Newburgh. We have a uh, Delmonico steak. I've never been a food person, but I do want to cry about this steak, <laughs> boy. This steak is good. Oh my goodness. That is so good. The best Eggs Benedict I've ever had. The meringue acts as an insulator. We pipe it all around the ice cream and the cake, and it's almost like a thermos. It keeps everything cold inside. For a Valentine's Day twist, Chef Billy introduced me to a red velvet cupcake baked Alaska that you can make at home. So what we did, we cut the cupcake in half. Now the front part. And you see how the ice cream wow. stays? That's some good dessert. But now it's our judges' turn to decide which baked Alaska is the final frontier of flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how you broil a ribeye steak with fresh herb butter. I'm executive chef Billy Oliva for the Delmonico's restaurant group. Now let's eat. <laughs> 